Hey folks, Kyle Casey from Hocking Hill State Park here, and I wanted to share with you folks one of my favorite springtime recipes. And the best part, you can do it right at home. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make redbud jam. Eastern redbud trees are native to Ohio, and right now, their flowers are in full bloom and are making landscapes across Ohio pop with the beautiful purple and pink splashes of color. For more information on the eastern redbud tree, go check out the Burroak State Park video that our wonderful naturalist Julie Gee put together to highlight this beautiful tree. First, in order to make the jam, you'll need to know how to identify it. The best way to do this is to use a field guide. But don't worry though, you don't need to run out and buy one. The Ohio Division of Wildlife actually has a fantastic tree identification guide and other ID guides that they offer free access and download to online so that people everywhere can have intuitive and informative information readily available for anyone that wants to take a closer look at the outdoor world. Here are what the flowers look like right now with their pink flower clusters. Now there are a few rules to follow before you go out and collect the flowers from the trees. The first rule is knowledge. Now there are a few trees blooming right now that have flowers that are colored in the red spectrum, so make sure you know for sure that it is the correct tree before you harvest or eat anything. The second rule is permission. Before you go out and pick any flowers, make sure you are picking them in a place that you are allowed to do so. Rule three is safety. When collecting flowers from the trees, make sure you are aware of your surroundings and be cautious of any traffic or wildlife and bees that might be present where you are collecting. The last rule is quantity. Only take what you need. We want to leave a majority of the flowers on the trees so that they are available to be pollinated by our bees. There are many bees that rely heavily on the flowers every year including the honeybee, the bumblebee, carpenter bees, and many more. I typically only take about 5% of the flowers and no more than 10%. This is usually not an issue though, because with the trees being around 30 feet tall, typically I can only reach the bottom branches, leaving the top three fourths untouched. Okay, so let's get into it. We now know that this is a redbud tree. Now let's collect the flowers. The flowers can be easily picked off of the branches, and a very effective method is to find a few twig ends and simply lightly strip the flowers from the twig in one quick and easy motion with a bucket underneath. This recipe calls for about six cups of flowers, which looks about like this much. I don't need any more, so I'll leave the rest. It only took me about 10 minutes to collect this much from five different trees. Okay, let's head back home. We will dump our flowers on a clean surface and start off by picking out any sticks or leaves so that we don't add a bitter taste to the jam. Then, rinse off the flowers to make sure no critters have tagged along for the ride. Once the flowers are rinsed off, pour them into a container you can seal that is safe to contain boiling hot water. You typically want to have one cup of water for every one cup of flowers, so I have six cups of flowers, which means I need six cups of water. Bring the water to a boil in a pot, then pour the boiling water over the flowers into a container. You will have to use a nonstick spoon to push the flowers down into the water because they will float. Now, put your lid or cover on your container and wait for it to cool a little. I waited about 30 minutes. Then, put your container in the fridge and let the flowers steep for the next 24 hours. After your 24 hours have passed, remove the flowers from the fridge and get out a large bowl. You'll want to use a filter of some sort for this next step. I used a grease cover because that is what I had available at my house but you can use cheesecloths or any filter that will catch piddles and allow the liquid to pass through quickly. Now, pour the contents over the filter into your large bowl. If you squeeze the flowers, you will get a little bit more liquid. Once all the water has been separated from the flowers, you can discard the flowers outside or in a compost pile. You should be now left with about four cups of redbud tea. Now that you have the tea prepared, here is the full list of ingredients that you will use to make the jam. You will need four cups of redbud tea. You may have extra. Try drinking redbud tea. It will taste a little different than the jam. You'll need four cups of sugar, one cup of sugar for every one cup of tea. I use cane sugar for best results. One tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and 1.75 ounces of pectin. There are a few common brands you can find at the grocery store. For my batch, I use Sure Gel, and it comes in 1.7 ounce packets. If you use any other brand, that is perfectly fine. Just make sure you read their specific quantity directions. Once you have all of your ingredients, let's go over the steps to combine them all. Step one, add the four cups of redbud tea to a medium to large pot and bring it to a boil. Step two, add the 1.7 fine ounces of pectin to the pot, stir a little, and then bring it back to a boil. Once it is boiling, continue to stir for another one minute and 30 seconds. Step three, Add in the one tablespoon of butter, the two tablespoons of lemon juice, and the four cups of sugar. Once added, continue to stir until you have a boil that can't be knocked down by stirring. Once you have that level of boil, continue to stir for an additional one minute and 30 seconds. 
Then, take the pot off the heat source. Step 4. While the mixture is hot, pour it into your clean jars. So, I poured mine into 12 4-ounce mason jars and one 16-ounce mason jar. The large ones for me, and the small ones to share. Once you pour it in the jars, clean off the rim and screw on the lid. At this point, you can be finished and just let them cool for a day or so. But, for best results, I always like to include this last step. Step 5. Take a large wide pot and place a lifter on the bottom of it. You can use a wire rack or I used my trivet for my Dutch oven because that's what I had available. You just want to avoid the jars from sitting directly on the bottom of the pot. With your lift in place, set as many jars on the lift as possible, then add hot water to the pot until it is covering about 2 inches of the jars. Just try not to fill it past the rims of the jars. Let the water heat up to a boil, then cover your pot with a lid for 10 minutes while boiling. After they have boiled for 10 minutes, turn off the heat and let the jars sit in the pot for another 10 minutes. Then, if you can easily and safely lift the jars out of the pot, do so, or if the water is still hot when you do this, use tongs to lift the jar. Place the jars on a dry towel and let it settle there for about 24 to 48 hours until you can turn the jars without the jam sloshing around too much. This process helps to better seal the jars to check for a good seal, press down on the lids to see if there is any flex in it or makes any popping sounds. If there are no continuous popping sounds and no flex, then it is sealed. If it is not adequately sealed like described, that is okay. Just pop them in the fridge and use them within a month or so. If it is sealed, the jam will last much longer and does not need refrigerated until it has been opened. And that is how you make Redbud jam. I hope I helped to show you folks something that you can do during this time to go connect with nature in a way similar to many of our ancestors. This can be something educational, fun, and delicious that can be repeated every year and can even become a fun family tradition. Below, we will link the Baroque State Park video on the Eastern Redbud Tree, as well as the link to the Ohio Division of Wildlife's Trees of Ohio free online field guide. I hope you folks continue to enjoy this spring season, and I wanted to say thank you from all of us here with Ohio State Parks for being such a great Ohio community. Thank you so much from all of us, and enjoy your Redbud Jam. All right, time for the taste. Mmm, that's good.